The governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the 2023 general elections in Ogun State, Honorable Oladipupo Adebutu, has expressed disappointment over the conduct of the November 16 local government elections in the state. Adebutu spoke at a news conference in Abiokuta on Monday. Adebutu, a member of PDP's Board of Trustees, uh, confirmed that no election was held in the state on Saturday, alleging that the local government elections was marred with violence and intimidation from the ruling party. He claimed that his aides, leaders and supporters of the party were targeted by hoodlums and security forces allegedly sponsored by the state government. The former governorship candidate accused the state governor of trampling on democracy and the rights of the residents of the state, alleging attempts by security entourage of Governor Dakwa Abiodun to take over his residence at Iperuremu. He understands my predicament, has left me with a large retinue of policemen since December 2022. because of the grave danger I face. These same people that have been shooting policemen since the last election, they are walking around town with impunity and continue to do this. And this is Nigeria. One day we will come to power. I, Honorable Latunde, I like people who are able to I shall allow free, fair participation in local government elections. Let me tell you, it is the basis for good governance. Once you don't have free, fair participation at the grassroots levels, you will have poor participation. You need competition, you need participation at this lowest level to have good governance. Once you don't have competition and you, you don't have participation at that level. You have failed to serve the people. We want to serve the people. The party chairman, Abayomi Teller, described the elections as a sham and unfortunate. Teller, while showing video evidence, said reports from over 4,000 polling units indicated that voting materials were non-existent. Yet, Ojiseg claimed that elections were held. Teller said in some cases election materials were delivered, but the number of votes declared at the local government collation centers did not match the figures at the polling units. Well, well unfortunately, that we're now finding ourselves with this kind of leadership that we have in the state today. Since the local government election has been conducted in this state, we have never had this so bad. You have seen a couple of videos there, videos. And I want to tell you that report from all our polling units confirms that over 4,000 polling units, no voting materials there. Yet some people said they conducted an election. The worst case scenario is that where you have them bringing election materials, at the local government collection center, they will declare 50 for local government chairman, 50 for councillorship, ballot papers. And when they get to the polling unit, you become 25 or 20. <clears throat> where is the rest? Where we have such cases, and people insisted that if they don't know where the rest are, they are not going to vote. He then translate to the fact that in so many words, there are no votes there. Yet, winners have been declared. Where does that voting took place? I leave that for you, members of the press, to continue to investigate and tell the public. One other thing that is very worse is that I don't know why we have to evolve into violence. I put it to His Excellency that if I am governor for three years in this state, if I am to conduct a local government election, I will have acceptability of people for over 80 percent. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.